Hi, I'm back after a long YouTube hiatus. Um, a little bit longer than planned actually, because I filmed a video and I had no sound. Never mind, these things happen. So today I'm doing a 16 mile gravel route around South Brent. So I'm going up onto Dartmoor and basically doing lots of ride away. So I cross down under the A38 and then cross back up again. So I've never done this route and I haven't really done much of it. I've walked a little bit of it. Um, so it's going to be completely new to me as well. And today I have my new Garmin. So I've got the Garmin Edge 530 because I have to do all my navigation on OS maps on my phone. And I was debating a quad lock phone holder, but then I might change phone soon. So, blah. Um, so the Garmin seems like a really good idea and I know lots of people have them. So I'm excited to give it a try. There's my route. I've made it out of South Brent and reached my first bridal path so i'm heading up towards the reservoir now but gonna try and stay off road as much as possible it's really really lovely here and it's so warm so it was meant to be about 18 degrees today and my van said it was 25 in plymouth and 23 here it's stunning and it's so beautiful we're right in the countryside all i've seen is lambs and birds and butterflies it's gorgeous straight into a bit of a steep section that was. I had to get off and push, but it's leveled out now. The view behind me is glorious. Well, that bridal path was definitely one for the books. That was great. A few gates in it, but never mind. So I'm now climbing up this short piece of road, and I'm pretty sure it says I'm really close to the next bridal path. So I've got high hopes now for this ride based on what we've just done. Actually, this unmetalled road is a bit tricky on a gravel bike. You can't really see it, but there's sections that are really rocky and some of the rocks is under the grass. But I'm being accompanied by dragonflies and butterflies, so I really can't complain. I've just pulled in off the road to show you this view. I've just passed the Avon Dam, which if you haven't been to, it is well worth a visit. It's so nice up there. And now on another bridal path. And it looks like a good one again. Well, that was a more of a mountain bike descent than a gravel lane climb in the end. But it'd be a really fun one to do going the other way. It's brought us up onto the moorland now. It's slow going on the grass, but the views are amazing. And I think we're gonna descend soon. So I've made it to the top of the descent. And there's these really super fancy gates. This must have been an entrance to an estate at some point. So far, it's definitely not a descent. 
but it certainly is a good one. This is a great gravel ride. Well, that got spicier. At the end, it got much more rockier and steeper. I think sometimes it's really hard to know what bike is best, whether it be a mountain bike or a gravel bike. A gravel bike makes everything faster on the smooth, but on the technical stuff, obviously it is more difficult. For me, I find it is rideable, but that's because I'm used to a mountain bike. Whereas I think if you went for like road to gravel, well, especially around Dartmoor, <laughs> not so sure about things like South Downs Way, but you'd definitely be like, oh, you know, it does get spicy. But it looks like now it carries on and it smooths out. I'm now nearly eight miles into my ride, so nearly halfway round actually. That looks like it's gonna be fun. See, this fits well fun on a gravel bike. Whoever designed this route, I don't think they rode it in the summer when all the ferns are grown. <laughs> This bit's actually far better than the bit I've just been through. I've hit rush hour in the lane. There was a car. I'm amazed a car could drive down that lane. And then a dog and a man. And then there's two dogs here by this house. So I've done the next road section and we're going up here, up another bridal way. So we'll see where that one takes us. I'm in a very cute little place called Owly. It's absolutely gorgeous here. All the houses look stunning. They're so beautiful. This is so... Beautiful, I've seen so many butterflies. Oh, I love summer. I'm such a summer person. I'm on a really steep, techy moorland climb. So I've come from over there and heading up this way in amongst the fans. And I think I'm going around and then that's going to be the descent. So the rest of the trail, trail, route, uh, whatever, um, goes on around a loop below the A38. But there's a really great swim spot and I really want time to go to it. So I think I'm going to do this section and then loop back on the road because it's part of the cycle path, like the off-road, on-road cycle path, and go for a swim. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> it's so nice up here. It's got that proper Devon rolling hills. It's lush. all the way to the top and that is Sparrows Cross I'm nearly at the very brow of the hill and then I'm going along to there I think where I don't know if you can see that rock and then drop down back on the road hopefully time for a quick dip I've made it I've climbed all the way up to the top and I'm now on the Puffing Billy track, which is a gravel track that goes all the way out to Red Lake in the middle of the South Moor. And behind me, I can see Plymouth in the sea. Woo! Only the descent back now, and then back on the road.
I've come across now from Hangershell Rock and I'm now pointing back towards um, where did I come from? South Brent! Pointing back towards South Brent I think so I'm about to just start about to just about oh my word about to start my descent right I'm definitely gonna need two hands for this so I'll see you at the bottom Hang up. I'm coming off the moor to Rangerton Golf Course. I didn't think it would actually be really busy with people playing golf. It doesn't matter, it's on the edge of the moorland, so it's not a problem. But um, it just was unexpected, that's all. And that's that, I'm back at the van. My watch says I've done 19 miles and the route on OS Maps was meant to be 16 and I missed a fair bit of it at the end so I'm never quite sure because everyone else is like phone GPS and watch GPS always seems to be closer to the numbers on my watch than OS Maps so uh, I'm never quite sure about that but anyway that was super fun I'm just deciding do I run for a quick dip I'm gonna go check my phone but I'm thinking yes so I've made it to my swim spot today which is a place called Lydia Bridge which is a very close just on the edge of South Brent I'm gonna get in and if I can I'll try and show you but I don't want to get my phone too wet oh wow Look at this. This place is amazing. There's a waterfall at the end and it's just absolutely beautiful. Right, I'm gonna put you down so I can properly enjoy this before I have to go home. Thanks for coming along, I really hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye.